Philly and Empire reporter Leticia Juarez found out, thanks to some enterprising students, a new solar drying system could do the trick while saving consumers thousands of dollars. In the 97 years since the invention of the electric tumble clothing dryer, not much has changed. But an invention is taking shape that could put a wrinkle in the need for electric dryers. So essentially what we're doing here is we're catch, uh, harnessing the power of the sun. Jesse Lozano and a group of student inventors have developed a solar thermal closet to dry clothes without the need for electricity. The UC Riverside graduate is part of a team that won a grant to develop the idea. How much it costs to build this? About uh, 2300 with everything, uh, where a traditional dryer costs about $600. Um, but you'll recover your costs within five years. A solar collector on the roof helps to heat the air from the attic, which is then drawn through these tubes inside the closet, which is heated up to 150 degrees, drying the clothes inside in about an hour. There's nothing really revolutionary, really, about, about dryers today. Scott Taylor of Taylor's Appliances in Riverside says for years, the industry has been trying to come up with an energy-efficient dryer to match its counterpart, the washer. They've tried, you know, microwave energy, so they've tried to introduce microwaves into dryers. So there has been um, some effort over the years to make something revolutionary, but we just haven't seen it yet. The thermal closet could potentially save consumers $6,500 over a 20-year period. The idea has potential customers lining up. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> I would think about doing that. Yeah, that match pack electric bill is pretty high. So, so that invention will be pretty good. Save us money. Next week, Lozano and his team will travel to Washington, D.C. to compete for a $90,000 grant, which could help bring solar closets to homes in the future. Leticia Juarez, ABC7 Eyewitness News.